stuff. This is so hard. It was hard. I just want you to know, I, it was hard for me. It was hard for me. I went through a church split because of this. I lost 95% of my relationships because of this. So you've been lied to, Protestants. We are not. We are the minority. Evangelicalism is the minority in the world, and it's dying. And so we need to come to grips with this, that a lot of these beliefs, we need to, I mean, rapture isn't going to happen, guys. It was invented in the 1800s. And this is effect, and you think, oh, well, who cares? No, I do care because my sweet wife, my sweet wife who grew up assemblies of God had to repent all day because she was afraid she wasn't gonna go to heaven. And the rapture might happen and all that stuff. This, this is, this is like, this is abuse. This is abuse to tell little kids God's gonna burn them over the rotisserie at some, some Bible camp as they look at a fire. I also show Pope Francis some grace. He's the pastor of a billion people over multiple cultures, multiple languages. It's hard to keep y'all unified in Montana. So I show him grace. And a lot of times he'll say something and then the, the, the right wing news media runs with it. And it's not true about what they, they don't phrase it, even what he said. Again, I heard evangelicals, well, the Catholics worship Mary. No, they don't. Do you know the church came before the Bible? 300 years the church was around before the Bible got brought together. <laughs> God speaks through his church. And we have all these church fathers and mothers who've directed us and shown us the way. We've been told Martin Luther and John Calvin returned us to the faith. They did nothing but create a brand new religion. It's a brand new religion. There's a spirit behind everything. And I believe the church splits that keep happening in Protestantism is because everyone thinks they're right. And this is a spirit behind it. Look how thin those books are. One of them is Reformation myths. It just talks about all the lies we've believed about the Reformation. This one's important. This is the early church, how they did things, and he just compares it to the evangelical church, and it just shows how far off we've gotten. We are told that Luther saved the Bible. Luther took out four books of the Bible because he didn't think they were legit. He took out James, Hebrews, Jude, and Revelation. Now let me ask you, who gave him the authority to do that? He did not have the authority to do what he did. And when he was asked to come back into the church, he said no. Why? Because Martin Luther wanted to be the new pope. And he succeeded in inventing an entirely new religion where he was pope. We are told that this Protestant movement swept across Europe because it was the truth and it was returning to the Bible. Yes, it did sweep across Europe, but for one reason, money.